What's your family like? Do they make you feel like this? Math isn't any different. We have the craziest Aunt Sally in the world. Or do we? Why do we keep apologizing for her behavior? Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Or is it, please eat more donuts and salad? Please exercise more during afternoon, silly. Pink elephant something or other. Who knows? You're just supposed to do it like this. No, that's, it's, wait a minute. That's way too many to keep track of. But fortunately, there's a bright side because some people claim that PEMDAS is wrong. Whew, whew. Finally, something in math class I really didn't need to learn. But wait a minute, PEMDAS is a convention, just like measuring in feet and yards or a day having 24 hours or birthday presents. What I mean is that PEMDAS is a standardized order. It could have been another way, but we need to use what we have appropriately so we can clearly communicate. How can PEMDAS be wrong if it's a convention we chose to be right? That doesn't make any sense, it can't be wrong. Sure, it's a heuristic, but it's misunderstood. Our poor, poor Aunt Sally. We should be apologizing to her, not for her. One of our biggest misunderstandings about the order of operations is that we think it's arbitrary, that we just randomly chose things from a hat and any other convention is as good as all the others. And mathematicians fall for this misconception all the time that if it could have been something else, then one choice is just as good as any of the others. But that's not entirely true. Convention doesn't mean arbitrary. Take measurement, for example. We've historically used many different measurement conventions, but let's just look at the metric system. It's an application of our base 10 place value so that it can map really beautifully to our understanding of numbers. It was chosen on purpose, not at random. And in fact, most conventions work this way. They're very specific choices. So let's apply this to the order of operations. Take addition and subtraction, for example. In an equation like this, we see that addition and subtraction are interchangeable. They're opposite sides of the same coin. When you toss a coin, you don't just toss the head side. So wouldn't it make sense that addition and subtraction be packaged together? And in the same way, multiplication and division are opposite sides of the same coin. Let's talk about parentheses for a minute. Aren't parentheses like that Black Friday shopper that just have to be first in line? Parentheses mean, do me first, right? Not exactly. More appropriately named, they're called grouping symbols, and there's all kinds of them. Some are more common than others, and each have their own nuance, but there's one thing they all have in common. Treat everything within the grouping symbols as one number. And that's all that parentheses mean. So let's just do one quick example. In this expression, let's look at the multiplication. It's a binary operation, meaning it needs two numbers, just like a bicycle has two wheels. The number on the right is easy, that one's four, but what number is on the left? Is it three times four? Is it, do I use the five? The parentheses say treat five plus three as a single number, so we can't evaluate the multiplication until we know what that single number is. The number on the left has to be eight. So in evaluating an expression like this, we do parentheses first because of what they mean, not because they love a good Black Friday deal. Let's talk about the other operations for a second. Multiplication is repeated addition and exponentiation is repeated multiplication. Addition is the foundation and multiplication just builds on it. And exponentiation builds on multiplication. It's just like pouring water through a funnel. The water hits the widest part first and then narrows down. It's like doing the biggest things first and the smaller things last. And there you have it. That's our order of operations. Parentheses are done first. We're gonna go big to small from exponents through addition, and we're gonna to package together multiplication and division just like addition and subtraction. And let's go left to right because that's how we evaluate our individual operations. But PEMDAS isn't all there is. There's more to math's crazy family than just a nutty Aunt Sally. She's married to Uncle Sam. And he's even crazier. The point is, there's more to the operations family than just PEMDAS. A lot more. Are we going to wait for an even longer acronym to tell us what to do? We don't need to do that because we're already prepared to tackle surprisingly many examples because we didn't just memorize a rule of thumb, we understood a convention. But let's end with a more standard example. Which set of these parentheses should we evaluate first? Should we tackle them from left to right like we do with the other operations? Well, with our new understanding of parentheses, we can actually make sense of this for ourselves. We don't have to wait for a convention to tell us what to memorize. So math is so much less arbitrary and robotic 
than many of us may think. Aunt Sally might be our common relative, but perhaps she's actually relatable to all of us. Anyway, it's something to think about. Thank you for watching.